My name is Huang Yanhua and I come from China. And I'm the student of the FIFU, uh, the master student major in offshore and coastal engineering. I'm taking this uh, winter school uh, for a study the ice mechanics and do the uh, related uh, experimentation of the ice mechanics. Because this program uh, strongly related with my uh, final thesis, with my uh, final job, I would like to uh, go on. If I want to go on study uh, with a PhD or find a job, I I really need to know a lot of this kind of knowledge and such like this one. I'm a mathematician by training. Currently I'm studying on a magistry course and I'm also a post-grade student. In magistracy, I'm engaged in studying the Arctic issues as a part of the international relations between Russia and China, including the northern sea route and offshore structures and icebreakers. So I have direct interest to the topic and I would like to derive my knowledge not only in humanities, but also in technical and scientific scientific aspects. Actually, I came here to study in this university to do my master's in offshore technology and coastal engineering. And uh, my thesis is related to concrete. And Concrete is the future in the Arctic areas and I kind of fell into it and I started studying more about ice mechanics and this course will also help me for my future thesis. We received information about the course directly from its supervisor, Alexander Becker. I got acquainted with him during various conferences and seminars. So we got an offer to visit the winter course and the Far Eastern University to see how educational process is going on here. It was very interesting offer. So we're here and we don't regret about it. I got information about this course from my, my professor in the university and I was very excited because I read about this university, that it is a new and it is quite impressive and I, I definitely ice mechanics in this region is, a, is a very interesting to me because, because I have been working for more than 10 years on, on icebreaker propulsion design for, for ships that are operating in the Sakhalin. The university is fabulous. A lot of new impressions because campus atmosphere aims you to a full value studying. It has everything in place. Students are located in an isolated place having no reasons to abstract from many activities. It is a great place. All people are friendly. Everything is very close to you. All the laboratories and technical facilities that I saw, they impressed me very much. I can say that Russia has things to be proud of. The Far Eastern Federal University is a fabulous university. The idea of organization of the Ice Mechanics Winter School is based on long-lasting research works and on formation of the scientific team at the Far Eastern Federal University. Everything started in 1970s, when Professor Karpati organized first research works and scientific school in the sphere of ice mechanics. In 1980s, we executed a huge scope of theoretical and experimental research works on the ice cover, directed to development of the first discovered hydrocarbon fields in the Sakhalin Shelf. In 1990s, 
we took active part in first real Sakhalin 1 and Sakhalin 2 projects and shelf construction, implemented by Exxon, Shell, Sakhalin Energy and Kverner companies. We have many international level articles, we're well known all around the world and we have extensive relations both internal and international. That is why this school is a kind of event that allows teaching ice mechanics to young people and draws them into interesting scientific research projects. Arctic research is of high interest for us at this point. It is now a very important project for the whole country and we're actively engaged into its implementation. The International Research and Education Center, the Arctic, was established in the university a year ago. This project is a part of the program targeted to improving the competitiveness of the university. This is one of the activity areas of the School of Engineering. Within the center, various laboratories were formed, including the Ice Research Lab, Marine Engineering Structures Design Lab, Numerical Simulation Lab and the Design Office. All these laboratories are oriented to the Arctic projects. The idea of the winter course is a result of our understanding that the Arctic zone needs to be researched. We have plenty of theoretical studies. We also conducted a number of field research projects. So now the experience that we gain allow us to go to a new level when we are ready to start the Arctic Zone research in expeditions. So we decided to conduct a small, just a two-day field research project in order to be prepared to possible expeditions, in order to understand what we can do, what instruments and equipment we need, to practice all technologies and principles. Within the field research project we indeed conducted four experiments and we chose those types of experiments that require mass participation. Our winter course is divided into two sections. The first section is a lecture course where students are getting acquainted with what the ice load is, what the impact of ice is, what kind of risks can arise while design and construction of structures in the Arctic conditions. The second section of our course consists of a number of research experiments and determination of basic mechanical properties of ice, as well as collecting statistical data on physical and mechanical properties of ice, including salinity, strength, physical structure and so forth. Here we conduct two basic experiments in two testing areas. The first testing area is Eastern Testing Area, the second is Western Testing Area. The big testing area is 100 to 100 square meters. The small one is just 6.25 to 6.25 meters. And the middle one is 25 by 25 meters. Why the difference is so much? The first is analysis of the heterogeneity of the ice cover, because the strength of the ice is not the same in different points. It directly affects on the structure's perception of the ice load. The second part of the work here is analysis of the ice physical and mechanical properties. This includes code drillings, their strength tests and other methods. The first method of strength determination is by throwing a ball into an ice hole. Just like this, you can see them here. The second one is press testing. We made a lot of samples. We cut something like 5 or 10 centimeters of the general cover and threw a 5 kilogram steel ball. We threw the ball into each ice hole for three times. Then we measured all diameters and documented all the data. 
At this point, the data shows that ice is not homogeneous. Closer to the coast diameters are something like 6 cm, a little bit farther than like 3.5. Feel the difference. In the frameworks of our winter course, we worked out the experiment that already had been worked out by the hydraulic engineering department of the former Far Eastern Technical University. It was aimed at heterogeneity determination. Distinguished feature of this course is that we used new equipment. We came up with this idea to use this new equipment while preparing the winter course. These big machines are used for ice grinding. We used grinding principles that allow us to quickly prepare sampling surface with controlled grinding depth. We came up with this idea several months ago and now it was implemented in full. We produced needed equipment and the results were great. Indeed, a good idea that was fully implemented. Now we are in the process of ice samples waiting in order to determine ice density in natural conditions. The sample in my hands was made with the help of the ice core drilling method. At each point we drill four ice cores. For the ice density testing we use two top parts and two bottom parts. This helps us know the density spread over the sample's thickness. Each sample is marked with a special marking like this one. Here we put the number of the testing area, point of the core drilling, and whether this is a top or a bottom part of the sample. For the density research, it is very important to know the density spread over the sample thickness. As ice is petty heterogeneous in both special separation and thickness, determination of the density spread over the sample thickness is a very important parameter. In general, density is a very important parameter when dealing with ice. It affects ice strengths. And ice strength in its tone affects ice load on structures. So with these types, Type of research, we can make recommendations. What kind of structures can be constructed in the Arctic seas? What are the properties of ice we need to research and so forth? So this experiment is a part of bigger goal on conducting experiments helping to determine ice loads. Each ice sample is first weighted in the air using special weighting machine. So we determine its weight on the air. Then we need to do the same, but in some liquid environment with known density. Let's suppose it is kerosene. This also can be a toluene or any other liquid with known properties. Before the weighting we need to take the temperature of the liquid and to take its gravity with a special device called densimeter. Due to the difference of samples mass in the air and, let's say, in kerosene, students can calculate the density of ice using special formula and they also put all the data in their logs. Further, they will statistically process all collected data. They will get graphs and charts and they will produce forecasts of ice density spread over the thickness in specific water areas. This experiment is very important, very interesting and pretty labor and time-consuming. Today we conducted a number of experiments, so we will need to wait 48 of such samples. Determination of ice flexural strengths is a special test. A key is cut out and then you start pressing down on a free end. At the moment, when ice breaks, a shift of the key at its root is measured. Then we recalculate flexure strengths of ice. When we press down in a press machine, we measure uniactual compression strengths of ice. But here we talk about flexural strengths of ice. Key is an everyday expression. In reality, scientific term is bending of a cantilever beam. So this is condition of ice in which the ice generally affects any construction. As a rule, it loads and resists as a bending beam. 
So the ice load in a structure goes either up or down relative to the structure. With this, we conduct experiments that are very close to its natural behavior in impacting hydraulic structures. Right in the field, we cut out a prism of a certain size. One of the sides remains restrained in ice cover. Then we free it from ice from connection with the main mass of ice. We also secure a certain distance so that random particles would not affect the experiment. And then we start making loading at a controlled distance. We measure maximum force at which breakdown is reached as well as shift at which the beam is broken. Then we use this information as initial data in calculating mechanical qualities of ice cover. And we talk about scale experiments and for large-scale structures. All collected data is then given to participants of our seminar. Using special methodology, they will calculate strengths of the ice cover in real conditions. I need to point out that these research projects are aimed not only to a studying process, but also positive to our scientific research, as we're dealing with additional information, which will reinforce our long-standing observations and will widen a series of representative data for calculating strengths of ice. It is extremely important. After we took a lecture course and conducted some experiments, we get some data. We were also given some questions we had to answer. And then we had to show what results we received and which experiments were conducted in form of presentation. With that, we confirm our qualification in the issue. It also showed that lectures were very useful. My master's degree paper was devoted to studying the sea ice and to a certain series of tests and ways of their implementation. Here we could compare how this is done overseas and how this is done here in Russia, what the new methods are and their differences. We managed to conduct ourselves many experiments we were only reading of in various scientific articles and books. We received real knowledge, we made real calculations. I believe this is very useful for our future. This is real, tremendous experience. I think the most interesting part was the practical part, obviously, and I really enjoyed doing these experiments because they were new for me and I'd never done them before. This is the first time after our school holds this kind of the, uh, program, and I think it's very successful. Uh, the, the course uh, uh, have the seven days course, and uh, uh, two days experimentation and uh, two days uh, uh, data analysis and get the result uh, from that one. I think it's r very reasonable to have this kind of uh, arrangement. Yes. I am doing my doctoral thesis at the moment. I, I hope that I can use some of the information and knowledge that I have that I have learned here, as well as I will uh, I will of course report to my, my colleagues and to my professor in Aalto University about the, about the course and the program and the content and, and so on. Hopefully, I hope so, there are more students. I think I have created a path and I know Indians like to follow created paths and I think there will be more students in the future. We plan to develop this experience. 
in 2016, we may organize two similar schools, winter and summer schools. Furthermore, by that time we will have our ICE laboratory in place. Judging by responses and interest to the course, the ICE Mechanics School has really great potential.